How do you do it, said night? How do you get up and shine? I keep it simple, said light, one day at a time. I started to suspect there was something wrong with, with Dick about 2007, 2008. It's very difficult now to pin it down, but he was less organized. I think I've described Dick as being really highly organized and efficient. You tend to get the diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment. And they did a scan and they said that it did look as if there was some alteration um, in, in, in the brain, but nobody was really coming up with anything definitive. They said, they thought at one time it was frontotemporal, and then they changed their diagnosis, said no, it was Alzheimer's, mainly affecting the frontal lobes. When you live with somebody with dementia, and as they get eroded in front of you, and they disappear, you hear lots of people talking about the person disappears, etc., and I've, I'm reluctant to talk about Dick like that, but it, it is true. And I find it very difficult to, to summon up in my mind how he used to be all those years ago. We were very compatible in terms of our love of politics um, and the other great pastime that we shared was walking. So um, all through our lives, we've walked together. We've been all over the world. To have a completely non-verbal partner um, is, is really, really tough. He's, he's been um, non-verbal uh, for probably the best part of three, three years now. So all communication is just through facial expression, etc. Sometimes when there's something on television, again, particularly if it's a political thing, um, I automatically turn to him as if to say, you know, explain that a bit more. It's like a, a reflex action. Um, that of course nothing, nothing comes back. Except that he remembers all his proverbs and he remembers um, songs. Music is, is, is really important because it's his only form of, I suppose, communication. We, do, we just don't hear his voice. So if I say, would you like Weetabix or Cornflakes this morning? Um, it, I get no response. Um, but if I give him a line of um, a proverb or whatever, I hear his voice. And sometimes I do it deliberately just because I want to hear his voice. It's just nice to hear, to remember. There's still a lot of smiles, but I honestly couldn't say that I feel there's anything of, 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 of Dick really left. I think loneliness is the biggest um, thing that I that I contend with. You don't get a chance to get out and just do stuff. Um, and gradually, the things that you could do when somebody is not so debilitated um, start to slip away. One of the things that I think is really important is, I can tell from his facial expression, that he's he might occasionally be, be a bit bewildered, but he's never looked scared. The way you touch people, um, the way you move around them, um, it still communicates, however, DP is into um, you know, his, his, his inability to make himself understood. I think he knows that he's really surrounded by lots of love. Um, and we have to make sure there's some laughter in there as well, because I think that's good for everybody. A breakthrough in dementia research would be of huge comfort to our family for the next generation. We know that it's too late for Dick in terms of any kind of treatment to know that they would not have to go through what he and his family have gone through as they got older, that they might be diagnosed earlier and there will be treatments available, would be life-changing for them.